Who are you trying to get crazy with this, see? Don't you know I'm local? <laughs> We're back. No, wrong channel, guys. Marion the Barbarian here. And I am going to cheat and drink this uh, Goose Island Secret Beer Hug Hazy IPA, 6.5%. We will see if I like this little secret. I, I don't know, man. We'll see. So we're going to pour it. I like the blues. It's just a nice color. I like blue in general. We're just going to pour it fast. Get some of that carbonation out. Ooh. Number one reason is I don't want it all building up in my belly. Getting all carbonated. I mean, you can see the head from how fast I poured it. DK, let me know if you're slapping your forehead going, what the fuck is he doing? Dude? But that's just me. Today... We are using a soap I do not enjoy, but we're going to use it up. We're going to give it a good college try. So I got this in a long time ago. This is Sebum Latte Luxury, Luxury Shaving Soap. It's one ounce. And when I got it in, I would have thought it was like at 0.6, but we'll just say it was like at 0.8 grams. If it was one full gram, probably got 0.3 grams in the bowl. And there's like one shave left. So we've lathered it up a little, and there's quite a bit still left in the bowl. And what I've decided to do is get it kind of going in the bowl. And then we're going to work it in and add water as needed to the face. And I'm probably going to use this all week. Just, this is my Kill Soap Sepperton, if you're watching. But yeah, this is, this is what we're going to use. I don't enjoy the scent. It's not even a lather thing. I just don't enjoy the scent on this. It smells like peanuts. Roasted nuts. It doesn't smell coffee like at all. It smells like nuts. It's it's just it's not a bad scent. It's just not a scent I necessarily enjoy. I mean, it's fine. It's not off putting. It's just it's not what I expected. But yeah, I got this in a um I ordered a lot of soaps in a big like, hey, you got to buy all these soaps to get this. And this was in there. And I'm like, you know what? Sebum's super expensive. You know, this alone is kind of worth making that $90 purchase. And it had a bunch of declaration grooming when declaration grooming wasn't readily available all the time. All right. There's the head still, guys. What, what's that? Three fingers? Maybe four. Yeah, finish pouring the rest in here. Look how heady that is, man. Ooh, that's some bitter foam. Not as bitter as the foam. That foam was fucking bitter, dude. All right. I don't know what blade is in here, but we've got the carved Christopher Bradley, three and a half inch handle, Argyle pattern, brass, and I believe this is the B plate, B as in boy. <coughs> so we're going to give it a go. Second use on whatever blade I put in here. So there shouldn't be any issues this is a razor i don't care about as in like keeping super polished and stuff i sent it to some friends for use and i cleaned it up for them a few times nothing super special just like brought the patina down quite a bit like, I didn't get in the grooves. Like, you can see the black in there, but I got it super shiny. But inside the grooves, you know, it still had the patina. Antiquing, like they would have said on high school rings back in the day. Put 
pretty much they're they're charging you to age your gold <laughs> when they say antiquing Nice and smooth, staying quiet on the neck. I don't remember what blades I put in here. Just don't know. So I've got a little bump right here that I'm worried about cutting open. I found if I go longer in between shaves, I have a greater chance of getting ingrown hairs. Makes sense or not, I don't know. No scientific proof, just my case. My use case. What I've been noticing. Like I shouldn't extend three days of growth. Like butter. Shave soap's working fine. Now I did the lathering like it said, you know, I used a synthetic. That's what's recommended with this soap. And a mostly dry brush. When I started building the lather before I added water, you know, to start getting it to lather up, I actually um, just looking at it. I hate it when you have hairs left behind on your neck and you're like, uh, did I get that or not? And I slowly started working it and it got it frothier faster. Then I had to start adding some water, but like you guys can see. There's quite a bit still left in the bottom of the bowl. I smeared it all the way out. So it doesn't take as much necessarily, but you can't really perfectly hydrate it in the bowl, I wouldn't say. And the only reason I say that is you're still rubbing soap into the lather when you run it across the bottom of the bowl. So you're always adding more soap and messing up your soap to water ratio in your lather so you're drying out your lather in my opinion most likely see there was after i wiped it on my face there was still some hairs left behind then it got in the lather in my bowl and in my brush you know it's not satisfying you know and I don't know if sebum's still going on. You, you won't. I'm not gonna link it. But you know, I was reading on their side label. All organic ingredients, um, naturally derived stearic acid. Not like a lot of other soap makers. I don't know who these other soap makers are, but they use stearic acid, and it's derived from palm oil, which I don't know a lot of people that in the artisan realm that use stearic acid generated from palm oil, especially Douglas because he's uh, at PAA. Um, being eco-friendly type person that he is, I don't think he would use palm oil or stearic acid derived from palm oil. Anyways, because he says they use a nickel solution which can cause colloidal nickel residue, which is to toxic to the body, and none of that is in his soap. When I say he, whoever it is, a sebum. And I don't have the uh, aftershave balm. I mean, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, but any salesman selling their product says, well, you're not gonna get the full effect if you don't use the intended post-shave material with it. Okay, I'll take your word for it. 
you say so. And honestly, I'm one of those that thinks if you want good post shave, use good post shave products. But teach their own, it's your shave, do it your way. Really don't care what you do. These are just my thoughts, my opinions, my two cents. And I've got very expensive, high end bases in my collection. So it's not like I don't buy them. This is just kind of like a disclaimer for those who don't know. And you know, some people may not be like me. And they've got super sensitive skin and this stuff matters. I'm just saying don't let somebody convince you of it until you've had those issues yourself. Why pay for all this extra shit you don't need? Same goes with razors too, guys. We all don't need these crazy razors. Numerous ones. I'm kind of getting to the point that the razor collecting I want to do is the way I started. Vintage. Not modern. Just not for me. We're going to do the neck one more time. Be real gentle. There may be less talking involved, guys. So for that, I do apologize. But I don't like nicking up my neck. And it's easy for me to do. And once I start nicking it up, it takes a while for that stuff to heal. Probably because I am a smoker and it takes smokers longer to heal. But it works. Just select a few places where I know when I'm done shaving, I can still feel some rough spots. So we're just trying to get a good, super close shade today. I think whatever, ooh, it's the people's blade. Wisnet in here. I was legitimately going to pull it out and toss it just so I could tell y'all what blade. But it's a Wismet. We're not doing that with a Wismet. Not at all, not one bit. That is the people's blade, last a lifetime. We'll be right back. Just like that, we're back, guys. We are back. So, for the post shave product, I don't know what's all in it. Probably not, you know, the best stuff. At least that's what my buddy Shady said. You know, uh, I think he said it's probably got parabens and shit and like that in there. But it's Ferragamo Uomo Balm. We're just going to use it. We're back to warm weather, but we're still going to treat the skin like it's cold weather. Got a dermatologist appointment this week. Got to get some skin stuff checked out. Hopefully everything's fine. Awesome scent, if you do not know. Lothar White is a dupe of Ferragamo Uomo. Um, very nice coffee scented fragrance. If you can still pick it up, pick it up at discounters. This is the aftershave balm. We used the Grizzly Bay. You know, the doorknob. That's what it looks like. It's like a doorknob brush. And, uh, I put the turn and shave quarter moon knot in there. Awesome synthetic knot, people. Um, you can go over there, find it at turn and shave. Highly recommend it. I've got it in a couple of handles. And back to the sebum latte coffee thing, like we just mentioned. Trying to get that coffee scent in there. But it was a good shape, feels good. I was rinsing it off and I was looking at my neck and I'm like, I miss stuff. 
but it was just the hair is not fully coming off when I was rinsing. And it does look like I nicked like right here or something, but it's a bump. So like I said, I tend to get bumps and ingrowns a little bit easier if I go like longer than three days without a shave. Huh. Beer really wasn't bad guys. Yeah, I know it's an A&W root beer mug, but it's what I had sitting there on the shelf when I grabbed the beer. It's what we went with. Cheers. Hope to catch y'all later.